Especially that time of night. Welcome in, everybody. It is Wednesday, and as always, that means it's cooking time. We got a little something extra fun to do tonight. We're making some homemade enchiladas, sauce included. We're gonna. Right off the bat, we're gonna get started with a little something. It's honestly, it's kind of lazy. In here, we have two cups of rinsed jasmine rice, and then we have a cup of some diced tomatoes with chipotle peppers. And this is my favorite way to do like the easiest Spanish rice possible. I'm gonna be just like my shoulder in camera for a minute here. And as always, the rule for rice. As we fill this thing up, it should be good as you want there to be just enough liquid that when you put your finger in, that first knuckle is all the water line comes up to. It's, I literally just started, my damn. I'm gonna get this started over here in the Instapot because I'm, again, a little bit lazy. We're going to give that 10 minutes, and now we are going to get started on our enchilada sauce. That would be appreciated, friend. All right. That's going to yell for a couple of seconds. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pan heating up to a nice medium, medium-high heat. We're going to, I don't remember where anything is in this kitchen because I am smart. We're going to grab a whisk. I cannot English tonight either. Okay. And we've got about like two tablespoons of olive oil. Now the next thing we have here, we have our seasoning mix. And I'm going to double check that I actually remember everything that's in here. So we have three tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of some ground chili, uh, about a teaspoon of cumin, about the same amount of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, pinch of salt, and then my two favorite little secret ingredients. We have cinnamon, and we have a little bit of smoked paprika, just to add a little extra flavor in there. And right now, we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds for our oil to get hot, because what we're gonna do is we are going to brown our seasonings. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of tea. And you just want to saute the, oh, ha. I cannot words tonight. You want to saute this just long enough that it starts to get nice and aromatic. You're not really looking for any color on it. You're just, just looking for a little scent. And this is, we're going to add a little bit more oil there because that's a little too dry. It's about three tablespoons of oil you'll be doing. I... I, yeah, I am. I'm down like 12 pounds in the last three months. We're gonna, we're gonna work on that. I'm not happy about it, but it's fixable. My appetite fluctuates so much in the winter. It is, it is something that will be worked on. No, no, it's not your imagination. I am, I weighed myself for the first time in like, I don't know, a month or so? It, winter really is weird. I, I know, I know, I, I don't like missing the gym this much. Okay, so we have our seasonings getting nice and aromatic. And I'll come and show this to you guys. So it's, the lighting is awful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go extra high class so you can see. So we've got a little bit of a paste going with our seasonings here. And what we're gonna do now that you've got a nice little aroma coming off of that. It's 
Gabby never wants me to leave the house. Let's be real. And we are, now that we're nice and brown, we're going to add in two cups of, I know, she's, she's so needy. She is. We're going to add in two cups of broth. And we're going to whisk that in. Still keeping a nice medium high heat. There we go. And before I forget, I'm gonna get my oven preheating to 425 degrees. There we go. And we're gonna turn the heat up because as always, I am a little bit impatient. <laughs> That, that little shithead ate like a half a pound of turkey lunch meat today. She is... She's trouble. She is... I love her so much. Oh, I should probably mention what we're doing. We added in two tablespoons of tomato paste. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep stirring this. And let it start to thicken up. Yeah, I know, she is... She's such a fucking troublemaker. Like... Something gets left attended for, or unattended for two seconds and she will eat all of it because she is a pig. I love you, Ham. I know you're over there. Because she is doggo and she can hear her dad. Okay, where did I put... Here it is. First of all, I will introduce everyone to my adorable Turkish grinder. I love this stupid little thing. We're gonna get a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And add that on in as well. <laughs> you know what? She behaved herself pretty damn well then. Proud of you, doggo. She's... She's something. That is... That is all that needs to be said about Gabbana Jane. Alright, so while we're still waiting for our sauce to thicken up, what we can do is... We've got our pan for our enchiladas. <laughs> She's, she's just, that's my dog. We're gonna spray our pan down with a little bit of oil. And since we're trying not to burn anything, easiest option is just a high burning point. So canola, avocado, something along those lines. That way they keep you from sticking but also don't end up crisping up the tortilla too much. I am trying my best to be patient with, uh, with this enchilada sauce. Sorry, I cannot speak tonight. But we're gonna, we're gonna see how successful I am at being patient with that. This is very much a hurry up and wait kind of thing. But we have a little bit of other stuff while we're waiting for this to cook. So we have some nice grilled chicken thighs and we have some black beans that'll be our filling. I have a little bit of leftover uh, baked sweet potato that I'm gonna toss in one for me because I do happen to like lots of food. I know it's hard to tell sometimes, but I do actually enjoy a fuck ton of food. Bruh! All my favorite people are here. I'm happy. And we are going to set this aside to not forget to put away later. And at this point, we are still just waiting for our enchilada sauce to thicken up. We're starting to get close to boiling. Well, let's get in here. Ooh, it smells good. So the first step is definitely along the way. Let's 
Usually takes about like five to ten minutes to get that to thicken up properly. That is that is also true. Hey. Only one of them's my favorite. The other one's kind of annoying, but I put up with her because. Excuse me for one moment. Kiddo! You're okay. Hey! You're okay. You're okay. Somebody got spooked. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Gabana Jane, you're okay. You're good, kid. Okay. Now we're starting to get to a nice boil on our enchilada sauce. Well, I don't know why Lila loves me as much as she does. I am, like, I do nothing other than crack the whip when it comes to her. <laughs> Gabbana! You're okay. All right, we got our heat a little bit too high, so we're gonna drop this down to about a medium. And I'm gonna bring this over to show you guys. So we're starting to thicken up a little bit here, but we're obviously making enchiladas. So what we want this to be is we wanna have a really nice thick sauce. So we're just gonna keep reducing this down and let it thicken up. And at this point you'll wanna keep pretty constantly stirring it just to make sure the last thing we want to do is burn anything it's been a minute since i've done that and i would like to keep that streak going okay patient sean is trying his best Once we get this part going, everything moves pretty fast. Looking. My oven is screaming at me, and I don't know why. Oh no, it's the Instapot. I have a brain, you guys. <laughs> why you gotta put me on a blast like that? There is such a thing as patient Sean sometimes. At least like once a year he makes an appearance. All right, we are almost there. We're looking nice and bubbly. Still a little bit thin. Come on now. Okay. So now we got our nice enchilada. You can't you can't see that at all. That's okay. Work was okay. You know it. Uh, it was as chaotic as I was expecting for for day one, but survivable. I. Uh, I made sure I didn't spend much time hiding behind the counter and I was either out facing things and talking to customers or hiding in the back slicing things so I didn't have to deal with people. All right, our enchilada sauce is ready so we are going to start assembling our burritos. You know what, this one is for me so that is not nearly enough chicken. We're gonna, we're gonna fill this shit real, real high. Let's see here. I'm gonna go grab something so we can do our usual ghetto version of a camera stand so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And I would say today was probably the best. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Probably the best day that I've had working there so far. Mostly because it wasn't just me standing there doing the exact same thing the entire day. All right, so we got a fuck ton of some grilled chicken thighs down here. 
we're going to we're going to do this by hand because I don't want to cook more or, or clean more dishes. But we have some mashed sweet potato there. And the last thing for assembling this, we'll grab a spoon as we're going to throw down some black beans. Usually I end up tossing in some sauteed mushrooms, peppers, onions, and spinach as well, but we're going a little bit simpler tonight. Is that enough? That's more of a Sean portion. And then, since it is enchiladas, we're going to leave our sides nice and open. And we're going to... Actually, we're not going to do that, because I grabbed a very small pan. So, we're going to... We're going to do a quick, actual wrap on these things. I usually leave my edges open, but we're just going to run with it. So it'll actually... Ha-ha! Fit in the pan. It's... I'm so excited. I'm so hungry right now. I have not had anything to eat in like... When the fuck did I eat? It's like eight hours? I need... I need food. I'm gonna eat like three of these. Probably. But again, we're keeping them a little bit simple this time. It's still going to be delicious. We're going to, I know that was hot. We're going to taste our enchilada sauce. I usually end up cutting down on the amount. <laughs> I usually cut down on the amount of chicken broth because uh, this recipe definitely uses way too much. It's, it's very, very broth heavy right now, but it's not bad. We're gonna, we're gonna fix it by adding in a little bit more tomato paste and reducing it down some more. That way we can get some actual enchilada sauce flavor going here. So if you're ratting down the recipe, usually I end up doing about a cup and a half of chicken broth in that bad boy. Okay. Hey mom, you want some cheese in yours on the inside and outside? We'll see if she'll answer in chat or if she'll answer in person. I'm guessing in chat. I can hear the keyboard. I wanted to double check. All right. So we are going to grab some simple pre-shredded cheese. Is that fucked up enough with cheese, or do you need a little bit more? And don't forget, there will be more cheese on top, and there will be sour cream as well. Thumbs up. Okay. All right. We cool. We kosher. And we're going to just see how many of these we can... F oh, hey, I need to stir my enchilada sauce. We're going to see how many we can fit in the pan. I'm thinking we got room for five. Which is perfect, because that should be just the right amount for how much chicken I cut up. You guys, I actually used my brain for once. Somebody write it down. <laughs> okay, why did the Rita thing come back out of nowhere starting today? Because wasn't that like over a fucking decade ago? Alright. There we go. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. She can't hear me. That's cool, just ignore me. I was only gonna talk shit. Which you probably realized. Alright. So our enchilada sauce is going to be a little bit soupier than I prefer. This one's kind of light. We're going to just toss the rest of the black beans in here. But it should still be pretty darn tasty. There we go. And then, just in case you couldn't tell, we have more things to make. Did I... <laughs> It is a crime to put sour cream inside of your enchilada, friend. It's not happening. 
We're not doing it. Okay? We're just, we're not. <laughs> nope. Nope. Hard disagree on that. It's not happening. Okay. Our sauce is just about reduced down, so we're going to bring these bad boys in so y'all can see the assembly. I'm going to drink some more tea because why not? All right. That's better. There we go. Now we got... You want just a little bit of jiggle when you're stirring that. Don't want soup, we want sauce. All right, and what we're gonna do is, since we were actually smart, we're just gonna straight up pour this right over top. We'll do a light coating and then we'll make sure that we get all of our tortilla covered on the way back. That way we don't end up getting any crispy bits. There we go. I have, oh shit, I'm gonna have some leftover enchilada sauce, what? Y'all, best day ever. I get to make more. That's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think about the things I say. It usually ends up working out pretty well. All right, and then the most important step, obviously, is we gonna fuck this up with some cheese. And you know what? We will bring this up a little bit more so you can get that proper sprinkling action right there. Look at that. That is not enough cheese. <laughs> I have, I'm... I don't understand how, how people can put up for me for as long as some of them have, and I am so very grateful for them for doing that. Carbon and Rosie especially included. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. I, I fully admit I am a handful. All right. I appreciate you too. And <laughs> You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad I'm the good kind of handful. What did I miss? Yeah, but... <laughs> Fuck you. No. Okay. No. We're gonna put this back up here. Hi, everybody. I don't know how, but I don't look fucking awful right now. That's weird. Okay. So... We have one absolutely delicious, I was about to call this a plate. This is not a plate. We have some absolutely delicious casserole dish of enchiladas. We have a 425 degree oven. We're gonna throw these fuckers in here. And we're going to make sure not to burn ourselves because we are smart. And we're gonna start off with 10 minutes on these. Everything is already cooked through and ready to go, so all we're looking to do is make sure that we've got everything hot. And that camera is a little too high. Let's drop it. There we go. All right. We're doing, we're doing things. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so we've got some refried beans here. Simple, easy, out of a can. It's... There's nothing wrong with old reliable, but we're gonna heat that up. Our very quick and easy Spanish rice is about a minute and a half away. Never mind, our Spanish rice is done. It's <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna let that thing scream for a minute as it releases pressure, and we're gonna take a sip of tea right now because we are because we can. That's why. Don't always need a reason. We're gonna wait to do anything else until that thing stops talking though, because I have to talk really loud and hopefully you guys can actually hear me over it. 
If not, it's okay. We... We are not the most professional of streams, but we have a good time. Is it done yet? It's not done yet. How the fuck is this thing still steaming? Come on. Any minute now. We're almost done. You guys are here. You can get a little bit. Oh no, I moved out of the way. Where is it? Okay. You can have some butt while I'm doing this. Because this is just taking for fucking effort. Fuck it. It'll happen when it happens. What's that? Exactly. As long as it comes together in the end, that's all that matters. Okay, so we're going to go over some avocado safety because I have, I don't want to know how many avocados I've cut open in my lifetime. So first and most important step, I'm going to make sure that's on low. I get too many things going at once and I get distracted. So I always start at the bottom and you'll push through. I will be scooping it out. No. <laughs> it is not opened. It is fine. Uh, all right, fine. I will wash the avocado. So demanding. My God. Are you happy now? <laughs> Okay, our beans are just getting a little too hot and I can't see, there we go. Okay, that's on low. Okay, so, as I was saying, so, push it through until you hit the core, and then the easiest way to do it is just spin it. You get your full circle, twist, voila. Here is the part where people fuck up constantly. Getting your pit out, especially if your avocado is underripe, can be dangerous. So it is about, first of all, being comfortable and confident. I know, you have to eat it. It was the outside of the avocado. I was going to scoop it out. If you eat the avocado with the peel, you are an animal. Okay, so take your knife and you're just going to tap it in. As you can see, it goes just a little bit through, and then you'll take this. You can either twist the knife or the avocado itself, but you will just twist, and it comes right out. Just like that. I have... I've, I've, I've cut too many fucking avocados over the years. I think uh, I've, I have, I've done it a couple of times. And then we're going to scoop our avocados. And that is the easiest part. You just, I usually start at the top. You poke your way around. You spin your spoon and it's done. And we're going to hope that I grabbed a big enough bowl. There's a very good chance that I didn't, because it is me. But we'll deal with that when we get there. Now, we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna not do this right next to the mic, because it's going to make some noise. These are just a teeny bit under ripe. So what we're going to do, we're gonna grab a bigger bowl, because this potato masher is not gonna fit in there. But a potato masher is the easiest way to do guac. Also, just in case I didn't say it, we're making guac to go on top of these. Because you have to. You don't actually have to, I just like it. And now, usually I add some diced onion in 
We got some people eating tonight that do not enjoy onions, so we're just gonna leave that out. But personally, when it comes to guac, you gotta have a lot of onion, you gotta have a lot of garlic. That. Another personal preference thing is I like my guac to have a little bit of texture. So, set this aside. As you can see, it's kind of broken up, but there's still some chunks and pieces. I like it a little chunky. It's better that way. It's, it's got to feel more homemade. That is the whole point for me. Is it's, where, where is everything? I don't... Can someone help me find my brain? What am I, what am I even looking for? I need something to stir that. This will do. We're just slowly heating up our beans in the pan over y'all. Gonna clean this just a little bit. <laughs> it's not actually a disorganized kitchen. I'm just a mess of a human being for like two seconds sometimes. We recover. We always recover. But I have my moments. All right. Next up. Oh, that was not sealed. Oh, no. Next up, we spill garlic juice all over our pants because, you know, we classy. Always important to add some citrus to your guac. How little or how much you add, whatever your preference is, but you gotta keep that shit from browning. Personally, this isn't gonna last long enough to actually... I, <laughs> I don't know that anyone has ever... Had bleh, bleh. I don't know that anyone has ever seriously called me classy. So... <laughs> I appreciate it. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna dice some garlic. And please don't get nervous watching this. I promise I'm not gonna cut my hand. As much as my technique is never all that professional, I do actually know what I'm doing. We're gonna mince this up real fine so we can mix it through properly. About a minute left on our enchiladas. We're making good time. Let's see here. Make sure we got it nice and fine. All right, then we're gonna toss in our garlic. Don't do the things I do in a kitchen unless you're very confident. Because again, I do things you probably shouldn't. But I still have all five fingers. And at the end of the day, that is what matters. Okay. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. A little bit more. Pepper, just, just a smidge. And now, ooh, they look good. They do. That was not my fault. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about that next. If that is what you would like to talk about. The one time I've ever had to deal with workers' comp, and it wasn't my fault that I got hurt. But we're gonna we're gonna get to that in a moment. First things first, we have to we have to share this. Try not to dump it everywhere. Oh God, it's spilling. Look, look at the delicious enchiladas. So, those guys are good to go. We are going to let it sit for probably about five minutes. Just give it some time to get down to an edible temperature. Or be 
beans are warmed up enough, we'll go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to check our rice. Our rice looks beautiful. Let me grab something to fluff it up. Delicious. Now the thing I always forget. We gotta get plates, cause we're we're not animals. We eat off of plates. Okay. Gonna add a splash more citrus. And the the citrus just helps to slow down the oxidization so it does not brown as fast. And now Not flavorful enough. I need some more salt. I'm too lazy to go clean my cutting board, so we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. But I would definitely add at least another clove, if not two. And we need a little bit more citrusy bite to this bad boy. Let's see. That's better. There we go. Okay. While we're waiting for our enchiladas to cool, it is story time. And we'll talk about the one time I ever got hurt seriously enough working in a kitchen that I had to go to urgent care. I was working at a pizza place. And, you know what, this still needs more. Usually I use lime juice, but I did not make sure to actually have it around. That was that one's on me. Lemon works, but it's not quite the right flavor. Okay, back to the story. So I was working at this pizza place, and we had essentially we'll call it a tomato guillotine. So it's like a surface. It's on a tiny bit of an angle. There's a blade guard for pushing it through, and then there's like five vertical blades, so you just put your tomato down. And I'm glad you know exactly what I'm talking about, because I'm sure you know that you never, ever, ever put those in a giant sink with the blade guard out, with it sitting up at a little bit of an angle. Yeah, my dumbass of an assistant manager has it sitting to get washed. So I don't know what's in there. I've only been there for like two weeks and this, I was, I think like maybe 21. Oh no, I think I was still 20. So this is like, that was six years ago. What the fuck happened? So I go reaching in to see if there's anything in and I, I feel a little bit of metal. I don't feel any pain or anything, but I feel a poke and I pull my hand out and I look at my fingers and just, it won't stop bleeding. I put three fingers tip first into the blade. I, I don't know if you guys can actually see it on camera. Probably not. These three fingers, like... This has been the biggest obstacle for learning guitar is these three fingers have minor nerve damage. So on the spots where there's a cut, if I get like, if I poke it just right, it sends this weird like shock up my hand. But yeah, that was the one time I ever actually got hurt at work. People are dumb. People are really dumb. I like to think that I was not one of the dumb people that day, but I guess that's up to you to decide. I'm gonna grab out a spoon. And you know what? I think it's time. We're, we're not gonna talk about the amount of times I've burned or cut myself. Cuts were always minor. 
Burns were questionable a couple of times, but they've all... They've all healed. <laughs> we'll get enchiladas at some point. I promise you that. All right. Our tea is gone. Story time is done. We are going to grab a spatula. We use proper English. This is a spatula. I'm not going to drop and break a plate. And we are going to... I see someone is ready. Almost I hear there are enchiladas. There, there happen to be very delicious. I was going to ask for a small one, but I don't think that exists in your world. I made small ones, okay? Did you? Okay. I made two. I made two for me. The others are human size. <laughs> that definitely looks like a Sean-sized enchilada. Sadly, I don't deliver, but we can work on that one of these days. All right. Doesn't help that it's spinning on me. There hey, we go. you lost some cheese there. Not accept it. Thank you. <laughs> Sass! All I ever get is sass. Do you know who I am? Yes. All right, you want some refried beans? Yes, please. And some of that delicious we're, smelling rice, please. We're not going to show the presentation on this one because okay. it is... And wait to uh, place <laughs> the other... Uh, Thanks, bro. Wait to place yeah. the other eaters. I'll He's going to be done like that. So you only need two forks. Thank you. Both for me. Do I get two plates, too? I mean, if you want, go right ahead. No, thank you. You have met me. Okay. I am going to be nice. Okay, everybody hear that? He says he's going to be nice to me. <laughs> Not buying it. There. I like it that you that you actually like plated it and cleaned the plate and all the fanciness. I am kind of a professional. <laughs> I know you are. Oh, there's something else. It's not else? done yet. Okay. Okay. I, I'm gonna wait patiently. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit more, that we all can see what I'm doing over here. We're gonna move my ghetto camera stand. It was just a giant <laughs> container of sugar, <laughs> <laughs> which you never eat. <laughs> That's actually not true. I have eaten like three cookies over the last couple of days. Because I left a plate of them on the counter. You I'm made sorry. oatmeal scotchies. I'm sorry. That's, that is one of my weaknesses. Okay, noted. I will never make them again. Okay. Oh, oh I didn't guac. see. Yes. Hell yeah, nice. guac. Guac. You kidding? See, we're doing this right. That is so pretty. And then we're going to round this off a little bit. And voila, we have, I will do better presentation on the other one where I don't go sassy and throw shit, but enchilada plate so number one. See what I get? I get the sassy cream. one. <laughs> do you not know who I am once Thank again? You, Thank you, Absolutely. Chef. Thank you, Chef. Is it cool that I get water? I can get you some water. Okay. Uh, I would say you could come through, but there's kind of a mess because I moved my entire camera set up out here. <laughs> it's it's, okay. it's a whole thing. You're figuring it out. Exactly. We make it work. We make it happen. Don't even worry about filling it all the way. Well, I just need a little. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to there stop you from are. what you're doing. Thank you. I got. I can multitask sometimes. Okay, now comes plating for Sean. Because as always, we must feed ourselves. It's something I need to be more consistent about. Because just eating two fat meals a day, not really enough food. Okay. And now, you know, we'll set this plate. Set it back. We'll hide that for now. We'll go for a Sean-sized 
double scoop of guac. Mm. And mm, we're gonna just we're gonna stack it up. Could have done different presentation. I already got my fork out, but you know what? It works. And now. Enchiladas. I'm so fucking hungry right now. We're gonna. We're gonna dive right in. That was literally just a piece of ginger or garlic. I need water. Give me one moment, everybody. Well, how's everyone's Wednesday night going? Everybody out there doing okay? I'm gonna get this spread out, make sure we get a good even bit of everything. There we go. I'm so sorry I don't have any to send to you. I mean it. Add it to the list of things I will cook for you someday. I do very much happen to like cooking for my favorite people. And I don't know if you knew this, you're kind of on that list. I'm glad you're enjoying the enchiladas, Mom. These are... We're just, we're just diving in. Okay. Oh no, don't fall on me. We're just we're just going in. Mm. That's good. That is a fine enchilada. It is missing one thing though. We're gonna hope I am actually smart in portioning this out. We just we just want to drop. We need a little heat. We just want to drop. Just a tiny bit. Just a smidge. Pretty please. I'm so nervous about this stuff. Here we go. There we go. Our Ghost Reaper hot sauce. Just, we'll probably stick to sriracha after this, but I gotta go for one bite. Mm. Mm. Flavor profile isn't quite right. Oh my god. I forget how hot that stuff is. Those those are really good spinach tortillas. Okay. We're gonna We're gonna take a break from hot sauce because I made a mistake. I have sour cream here. We're good. We're fine. My tortilla fell apart. Mm. Simple but delicious. It's doing homemade enchilada sauce was honestly a little bit intimidating the first time I tried it. It's actually a really easy process. It takes a little bit of patience, but you essentially just make a basic roux with your seasonings. Add some broth and tomato paste and thicken it up. And it it comes out so much better than the canned stuff. There's nothing wrong with canned enchilada sauce. Mm. It's absolutely fine. But as always, whenever you're putting, especially a vegetable or something veggie-based, 
in a can, you end up kind of picking up some of that tangy taste. So when doing it homemade, you'll get nothing but that trying to talk but also really enjoying this and you know what more guac because we can what was i saying oh yeah with it homemade you just you can add a little bit more flavor into it and personally i love adding that little bit of cinnamon and smoked paprika because it adds just a little bit more depth it, uh, if you get the ratio right, it almost comes out tasting a little bit like mole. But without that, like, over-the-top chocolatey richness you get from a mole sauce. This is... It's so good. I will... I will try to keep talking, but also I need this. And I'm a bit of a mess when I eat. But that's fine. Mm. Mm. Food is so good, you guys. Mm. Well, I have no plan for what we'll do next Wednesday, so any suggestions, feel free to fire them off. I am, whether I know how to do it or can just figure it out on the fly, I am always down for good food. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. I'm just gonna stay in here and make mm noises for the next like two or three minutes. Sorry guys. Uh, obviously there are ways to make Oh, you're totally good, sweetie. Thank you, as always, for hanging out. Love you, Rosie. I'll help with some of the cleanup. Uh, obviously, there are better ways to do Spanish rice, but in a pinch, just a can of some diced tomatoes added into your jasmine rice makes for a halfway decent replacement. Mm. Okay. I think I've controlled myself for as long as I can. I think we're going to cut the stream short here. That way I can grab another one of these, smother it up, and just annihilate some more food. But as always, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. It is a pleasure to be able to do this with you guys five days a week it has been very very fun uh friday night should be some fun shenanigans we got fingers crossed mallet joints but we should have three of us going in to play some remnant hardcore sunday as always hi hunter how's it going bud well Pick up with more Bob Ross on Sunday and Monday, as always, we, or as always, as is the new tradition, we're going to start just doing a random art something while we hang out and chat. I'm, uh, I'm excited for doing that, but I will probably not be doing any surprise streams tomorrow. There's a part of me that wanted to, but I think I should just, I should just relax tomorrow. But in that case, I hope everybody has a fantastic Thursday. And uh, hopefully I'll see you here hanging out on Friday night.
Have a wonderful night, everyone, and thank you again for your time. It is a major, major pleasure. And also, if you saw this and enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a follow. It's, it's a simple press of a button, and it's appreciated. Have a great night, everybody.